Happy and blessed Good Friday to you all today. It's a beautiful day here in Texas. We're supposed to get up to about 71 degrees. We did get a, about three inches of rain this week, which is what we were expecting. I want to kind of give you a quick update on what's happening. We planted seven and eight days ago. But these here are what I planted back, I don't know, probably about five or six weeks ago. These are my uh, cool weather plants. There's my spinach. Some of my lettuce. There's my turnips. My beets. There's some more lettuce. And some more lettuce. And there's my carrots, the ones I didn't think that uh, I'd do so well at. I'm getting, I'm getting some of them. So I'm happy with what I'm getting. Corn's coming up. I'm not seeing any seeds from what we planted last week, but I do expect to see them in the next two to four days, and I'll provide an update then. It's still quite muddy. There's certainly no way I can get out there, and I'm so glad that I planted last week um, because I wouldn't have been able to plant this weekend. There's no way. But everything is looking fantastic, and the rain that the Lord has given us has just been um, such a blessing to it. And we're very thankful for it. So let's come on over here to our raised bed. It did withstand. Uh, this was a puddle of water yesterday and it started to dry out a little bit. We do have a little bit of a north wind. We're expected uh, to get up to 71 degrees today and I think 86 tomorrow. But then next week it's going to be in the 40s and 50s in the evening and in the 70s during the day, which is going to be fantastic for my cool weather plants and also for my seeds. This is the permaculture garden. It did really well with as much rain as we got. You can see that it uh, didn't bleed out hardly at all. We're thankful for that. The edges stayed pretty secure. I've got me some butternut squash out there, some uh, zucchini, some yellow squash, and some tatumi squash. And then these are my two apple trees. These are Jonathan Dwarf apple trees. I'm gonna probably uh, plant some more things this weekend. I'm able to get out here probably quicker than I'm going to be able to get into the main garden up there in front. But um, everything is looking really great. You can see my strawberries right there. They're going to do real good. These are my canna lilies that I planted um, um, a couple of years ago. They're doing really good. I got some mint in there and some just some flowers. This garden is going to be a work in process very excited to see what happens with it we're gonna continue it on through the yard all the way back so it is going to be a step-by-step -step process you can see the apple tree is starting to uh, bud out a little bit this is what's left of that uh, big old mulch pile you can see we used every bit of it we could get And this is what's left of our veggie mix that we had uh, two big piles and we've gone through one of the piles. We still have another one to go through which we'll use to fill in my raised bed because it did kind of pack down a little bit after all the rain. And uh, the rest of it I'll go ahead and put in my garden and get ready for next year. And it will also feed the garden this year. But here is a final look at it. Corn's coming up back there. You can't see it yet, but it's there. We are so pleased with how everything's coming up. We appreciate you guys watching. We hope that you have a very blessed Easter weekend, that you spend time with uh, family and friends, and that you celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of things that's going to be going on with our garden this year, with our mono garden, our monoculture garden, and our permaculture garden, and our raised bed. You're gonna to wanna to follow if you're in this area. Get some tips, and maybe you all can help me if you see something that maybe I'm not doing correctly. Take care, God bless, happy Easter.